Hey guys, as promised, here's my Mac version of the iOS 7 jailbreak for the iPhone 4 using RageBreak on any firmware. So this is 7.0.4, 7.0.3, 7.0.2 and below. And this does work on both the CDMA and GSM variants. So you'll know the difference. The CDMA doesn't have a SIM card slot and the GSM does. So this will install a fully working Cydia. Not everything is guaranteed to work, but you will be jailbroken. And this does work very quickly. I gotta say it works better than the Windows version in my experience. And you guys do need two prerequisites. So first off, you guys do need to download JDK, Java Development Kit, and you guys need to download Xcode as well as the Rage Break Jailbreak itself. So once you do have it, let's go ahead and right click on it, open it, and then we're gonna select option one and just press enter. As usual, all the links will be down below in the description. So first things first, I'm gonna show you how to put your device into DFU mode, which we're gonna do three times in the course of this video. You're gonna hold the power and home button together for 10 seconds. So just count down 10 seconds, wait a little bit more, release the power button, and then keep holding the home button. Now you will see iTunes pop up with a message, disregard that, you are now in DFU mode. So with your device in DFU mode, go ahead and select enter on the prompt after we did select one to install everything. Thing, press enter again and enter once more. Now a new prompt will open and this will not open unless you do have JDK installed like I did say and it will go ahead and install OpenSSH on your device. Now only once you see success can you move that aside and select enter on the prompt before. So go ahead and select enter and it'll ask you for a password. Now it'll ask you four times, the password is Alpine. So just repeat four times at the prompt when it does ask you, there it goes, it asks me again, and it'll do that two more times. So just enter that and you'll be good. At the prompt, press enter, and now you'll see that your device does look like it's restoring. Disregard that, just go ahead and force it into DFU mode, just like we did earlier. Next, with our device in DFU mode, we're gonna boot it up in tethered mode. So for me, that's option number four, since I have a CDMA iPhone. If you have a GSM iPhone, that's option number one. Shouldn't take very long, and you'll know it's working when you see a scrolling wall of text that looks just like this. So just give it a couple minutes and it will boot right up. Next, we need our device's IP address. So go into settings, go to Wi-Fi, and click on the little I to the right of your network. And in here, you'll find your unique IP address. So write this down, we're gonna need this in just a second. Almost done, guys. Just select number five, click enter, and it'll ask you for that IP address. Go ahead and put it in, and then press enter again. It will ask you for your password twice. Remember, it is Alpine, so same as before, and in a few minutes, you will be jailbroken. After this process, your device will end up looking like this. Don't worry, just put it into DFU mode one last time. Just hold power and home 10 seconds, let go of power, keep holding home. And lastly, just select your option once more, tether boot it, and remember this is something you're gonna have to do every single time your battery dies, or you need to restart your device, so keep that in mind. After reboot, slide to the right and you guys will have Cydia on your springboard. Open it up, set it up if it crashes, that's okay, it's just initially, and then open it back up. So there you have it, finally jailbroken on iOS 7. Now I know everybody's waiting for a jailbreak for their specific device, and as far as I know, there's two to three months more to go until we do get one, so I do appreciate all of your patience. Anyways guys, enjoy the jailbreak, have a great day, peace.